Who's here to support Paul Zakis? Yeah. All right. Well, that's great, because your first performers from Keller Williams on Peachtree Road, he's our token redneck tonight. Make some noise for Paul Zakis, everybody. Paul, come on, buddy. Come on. Whoa, what's up? All right, settle down up front there. Settle down, settle down. Wow, what a great evening for a great cause. Um, Children Health Care of Atlanta, taking care of our little kids. That's a good thing, take care of those babies, for sure. So uh, getting older, things are starting to hurt. I just got my AARP application in the mail. That will send you directly into a midlife crisis. So after watching um, the three-hour VHS video they sent me, I actually realized that I get 30% off Ancestry.com. And then I realized that I can't use it because I live in Douglasville. I had to sign up for Ancestry.com. So, um, so the other day I'm at the uh, Publix Deli, and I'm standing in line, and I'm going to get a sandwich, and the deli lady says, I'm sorry, sir, we're out of mustard. And I go, you're out of, out of mustard, you're a grocery store. <laughs> it's on aisle two. I said, I'll tell you what, continue to make my sandwich, I'm going to run get it, are you out of anything else? I'll grab it on the way back. <laughs> so, um, so I used to build houses, and um, I was negotiating a deal with a family that didn't speak English very well, and they had their 10-year-old son translating for them. So we were going back and forth. Finally, I looked at the 10-year-old, and I said, look, if I throw in some Pokemon cards <laughs> and a bike, can we wrap this baby up? <laughs> we, we wrote the contract. Unfortunately, I was paid in ice cream. So, um, so what's up with this tiny house craze? I've got this guy that wants to, me to build him a tiny house. I feel obligated to hire tiny contractors. <laughs> I got rid of the first guy that came up. He was damn near five feet tall. I think he was showing off. So I've got all these little guys running around in their tiny hard hats with their tiny little hammers, you know. I mean, it's total chaos. It's just like I'm separating them. It's crazy. So it turns out that my client knows the guy that's building the tiny house next door. Small world. <laughs> all right, so now I'm a realtor. Look, folks, as a realtor, some people should not put their photos on their business card. <laughs> a general rule should be this. Treat your photo like your GPA on your resume. If it's not a 4.0, leave it off. <laughs> you know, some of you folks have airbrushed your photo so many times, probably more than uh, airbrushing in Panama City, I tell you. So, uh... I work with my wife. She's a lovely woman. She's sitting up here up front, probably about the... Th and she does her best during the day to look great, and she is. She's a beautiful woman. But I'm going to tell you something, people. At night... <laughs> so um, she has to wear a boot on her foot. She's got a guard that she wears in her mouth. 
it's like I'm sleeping with an injured football player. <laughs> so she turns off the light. She's walking to the bed, <laughs> lipping, talking funny because of the mouth guard. I'm going to tell you, she is a CPAP machine away from peak sexiness. <laughs> and then she puts all this face cream on, and uh, I kiss her goodnight. It's like I'm kissing a jellyfish. <laughs> so, um, are you folks aware that all around the country there are clown colleges? That's right. You have to fill out an application for acceptance. You're running to the mailbox on acceptance letter day. You've got on your rainbow wig, you have big giant shoes, and you're just running to the mailbox. You're just all, and your proud, proud dad is following you out there on a unicycle. <laughs> I've got a news flash for you people. If your acceptance letter to Clown College is rejected, it's pretty much over for you. <laughs> Unless you want to get your real estate license, and then what you can do <laughs> you can go to work for OfferPad or Open Door. Or one better. You can become a mime and go work for Duffy Realty. <laughs> I have never gotten anybody on the other end of one of those phone calls. And I'm telling you, if you saw one, it'd be like a Bigfoot sighting. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> so I hate my health insurance. I have to pay, for the, full, I have to pay the full amount every time I go. So the other day, I'm at the dentist, getting a cavity filled, and I'm a little gassed up. And as I start coming to, I notice the dentist still has his gloves on, so I said, hey, man, you mind checking my prostate? <laughs> I could tell he was a little uncomfortable with the request, but I saved 100 bucks, so... <laughs> So uh, all of the bands from the 80s are touring again. Are y'all aware of that? Isn't that good? So we went to see Boston. Man, those dudes are old. They should name them Boca Raton. <laughs> they finally made it up to the stage, and the bass player goes rushing up to the stage on his Harley Davidson, themed rascal scooter. <laughs> and I look over, and the drummer's about to pass out. Turns out, the bass player parked his Harley on the oxygen hose of the drummer. <laughs> he was okay, though. He was funneled. He, he funneled an insurer and everything. You know, he kept playing. So then, all the old lady groupies, they were getting wild. It was getting crazy in there. They started throwing spanks. <laughs> they were throwing the pins. <laughs> Lead singer tripped over a pair of dentures on the stage. But I'm going to tell you, I've never seen anything like this. I saw this one lady taking off her granny panties. These things... And to get those things to the stage, she had to take a running start and she threw them like a fishing net. <laughs> it took down two band members, and that's when the show ended, and that's when I end. Thank you very much. Love y'all. <laughs> Give it up for Paul Zakis, everybody. Come on, Paul, that was funny.